Well, here we go. Repairing an old damaged photo. And um, chances are that whoever posted this photo many, many years ago um, damaged it on purpose, just so people like us could get a chance to fix it. But I've actually fixed photos for people and gotten paid to do it. And, you know, printed them out and put them on disc and everything over the years because they desperately needed those old family photos from like the 1800s to to reprint and pass out to relatives and put in books and things for the relatives. So I've also had students come in and say, Mr. Foley, my parents' anniversary is coming up. Would you please allow me to fix this old scratch photo from when they were married? And they've done it in class. We scan the photo on their computer and they edited it and then we printed it out for them to give to their parents as an anniversary gift. And it was, it went over very well. This has happened several times, not just once. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about the tools real quick. Okay, the first one I'm gonna show you, and I showed you this before, but it's called the Spot Healing Brush. And if you click on these tools and hold, you'll see that there's different options there. But I showed you the Spot Healing Brush and the Spot Healing Brush is a one-click solution to most things that you're gonna run into but it certainly won't work for everything in this photo. So you just go and you can click on something and the computer will try to select the area around there or the program, if you, if you will. We'll try to select those areas. Now on something like this, where you've got a larger area, you need to change the brush size. Now you can go here and slide, uh, slide the arrow, but it's a little, guess, a little bit of guesswork or a lot of guesswork actually. So, you can use the bracket keys on your uh, computer uh, keyboard to change the side. The right bracket key makes it larger. The left bracket key makes it smaller. So I want to go a little larger than this area right here. I don't want to try to get everything. So, so that was pretty effective. And when you're going to do an area like this that's close to the face and there's a line, I would suggest going smaller. Take your time. And that worked really well too. But sometimes what will happen is people will get in a hurry and they'll try to do like, they'll try to do like this whole side right here just by using the healing brush tool. And what happens is you'll start seeing a pattern and it looks really bizarre. And when that happens, you know, you're usually gonna wind up with a C at best in your image if you have to be very careful. All right, and the second tool I wanna teach you about, that was the spot healing brush is the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool, it basically copies and pastes parts of your image. So I'm gonna show you a, an area where it would probably be pretty effective. So here the tones are not equal. So you got, you got a little shadow area and highlights going on there. And there's a couple of ways to fix this other than just using the, uh, uh, the spot healing brush. But what you do is you um, click on the rubber stamp thing and it's clone, you know, you're cloning. So what I'm gonna do is push Alt. So I'm gonna copy this area right here. Now watch what happens when I paint. So I'm pasting that area there over here. And then for the individual thing, you could go back to the spot healing brush tool and you'll get pretty fast at that. Some of my kids could just tear through this kind of thing. But the, the clone stamp tool might be more effective in an area like this. But I would try this other tool first, the third one I'm about to show you, because this is the tough stuff on the ear and here and on the tie, this area here. I actually found out that the spot healing brush tool works best for this area. So you'll figure that out as we go, but I want to show you uh, one more thing. So content aware, you're not going to see that here over the toolbar but it's a process that Photoshop uses for different things. And I'm just gonna click on the selection tools um, and the lasso tool. This is, of course, is one of the many selection tools. And I'm gonna try circling this area right here because it is really hard, guys, to fix something like this. And I'm not even sure this is gonna work, to be honest with you. So what you do is you select the area you wanna try to fix, and you can just hit the backspace key. And then the fill uh, dialog box is going to pop up and it's going to say content aware. And usually what you want to do is keep your opacity to 100%. That means it's solid. And then you just click 
And let's see what happens. Well, you can see, ouch, that didn't work at all. So I'm going to push Control Z and see if it'll let me get out of there. Okay, they've changed Photoshop. So I can't just do the normal, the normal editing that I used to do. So I'm going to do select, deselect, and see what happens if I can see if I can go backwards now. And something you can look for is the history tool. And you can go back and whoops, go back step by step this way. So I'm going to go back to before the lasso tool, and that will take me back to this again. It's called the spot healing brush. I'll talk more about it in detail later. So that didn't work at all. So I'm going to try the comb stamp tool, but the uh, content aware tool, well, it, it, it can work in large areas. Let me, let me try that again in a different area. Let me try this area right here. This works, content aware works better on normal type photos. You see, it got most of it, and then you could spot heal. But you'll find your own way to do this among, uh, with those three tools, using those three tools. And um, let me go back to the clone stamp tool because this is tough to fix. So difficulty is you have this line, you have, you have the black, you have the gray, and then you've got this big old white thing here. So what I'm going to try to do is copy and paste this section over here. So I'm going to make my brush larger. And I'm glad you saw me mess up because that's what happens. And I've never been able to go, go through and do this thing. I've done it many times for practice and do it right. So I just click all and I copied that right there. You can see I copied it and it's, try, it's going to try to paste this over here. Now, I've got this area fixed with the jacket, but I don't have that area fixed right there. So I can try going back to the spotty line brush. So you can see how you can kind of jump around with the tools and make it work. This is very challenging, and uh, I want you to take your time and do this. Don't try to do this during class and get the whole thing done. Okay? Thank you.